burning questions. President Trump's son admits to a controversial meeting before the election. What it means for the administration. Hello again, I'm Lynn Bowie. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. And here's what people are talking about today. The Trump administration is pushing back on allegations of collusion with the Russians. Mola Lange reports for WJZ. This comes after Donald Trump Jr. changed his story about a meeting with a Russian attorney during the presidential campaign. Hey, Don, how are you? Donald Trump Jr. admits he met with a Russian attorney during the U.S. presidential campaign because she claimed to have damaging information on Hillary Clinton. He was told that there would be information that may be helpful to the campaign. There was no such information. Trump Jr., campaign chairman Paul Manafort, and the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, met with Natalia Veselnitskaya, a Russian lawyer with possible ties to the Kremlin. Veselnitskaya offered information on individuals connected to Russia who she says were funding the Democratic National Committee and supporting Mrs. Clinton. But he said it quickly became clear she had no meaningful information. She then changed the subject to adoptions and sanctions against Russians. The revelation comes as former FBI Director Robert Mueller is looking into whether the Trump campaign colluded with Russia to win the election. There was no collusion that happened in this meeting, but the fact that they were willing to do the meeting suggests to me that a, a willingness to collude, um, and that's what Bob Mueller is going to have to dig into. The White House insists the president did not know about the meeting involving his son, son-in-law, and campaign chairman. The president says he is ready to move forward with the U.S.-Russian relationship. President Trump met with Russian President Vladimir Putin Friday. The two discussed creating a cyber hacking unit to prevent future election meddling. I am sure that Vladimir Putin could be of enormous assistance in that effort since he's doing the hacking. The president has now somewhat backed off the idea, tweeting, there was a discussion, but that doesn't mean he thinks it can happen. Mola Lenghi, WJZ Eyewitness News. The Kremlin says it has no ties to the lawyer connected to the meeting.